Um, I asked them if there were other worlds, and they said, yeah, there's, um, the universe is full of other worlds, and there are other dimensions of other physical universes, and those are filled with other worlds. So there's worlds in, in our physical universe, there's unlimited number of worlds, inhabited worlds with intelligent beings, and then there are other dimensions with worlds with them. So, um, you know, beyond counting, beyond number, and that the action of God, the Word of God, the Son of God, the Christ, the Spirit of the Christ, has um, nothing is apart from that Spirit. And um, that Christ has been everywhere. Now, Jesus the carpenter wasn't Jesus the carpenter in every single one of these worlds because um, in many of these worlds, this is the, our world is in the lower level of spiritual evolution and in many of these worlds Jesus didn't have to go to a world and be crucified and die on a cross for their sins because there are worlds where people were have chosen good and rejected evil and lived a life profoundly in the love of God and in the love of their neighbor and so um, Jesus would, could go to these worlds and just bless them <laughs> and they were you know happily accepted Jesus. I mean, what a different can you imagine a world where Jesus came and people said, Yes, you know, um we we knew and understood this is what you wanted us to be and we thank you for being a revelation and we've known you from time from the beginning of time we've known you and understood you and tried to live the way that you have, you know, wanted us to live. Um there are worlds where people are perfectly good and have um, no sin and don't allow evil to be part of their lives. Um, this world is unique because of the degree of um, not only temptation but the willingness to um, accept temptation and failing the testing that we're in. Uh, when I asked to see what other intelligent beings look like, they paraded images of beings in front of me, and they started off as humans, and then they got a little stranger looking, and a little stranger looking, and then they became unrecognizable as human beings and looked very weird. And um, I said, okay, I get it. They can be like shaped in very different ways than fine, whatever, you know, I get it, you know, I mean, in other words, they, um, there's worlds where people have this kind of shape, but there's worlds where people take on um, very different kinds of shapes. But the shape of us in this world is of little importance, because in fact, um, what's important is our spiritual being and who we ultimately truly are, are beings of light. Um, we're beings of love. Um, we are, um, in a sense, this tent that we live in now is not who we truly are. And in our immortal bodies, we're glorious. Um, in this body, it's more like a little pup tent or prison that we're in. Um, 